What's up guys, I'm Hyrez David. And I'm MLC Stealth, and welcome to the PC patch overview for 4.19, Departure to the Afterlife. Things are getting a little spooky as the Odyssey takes us through the Japanese Pantheon and Halloween returns to the battleground. First up is Skins. She might be the matron of the dead, but she's not your mummy. Mummified Izanami enters the battleground in 4.19. Next, you're in for a treat with Yure Susano. Stealth wrote that one, not me. And finally for Odyssey skins, Raijin's Drums of War take on a savage twist with War Chief Raijin. With all those Odyssey skins comes an extra special bonus item. Hyra's Tina's announcer pack is off this patch. Yeah, bitch has been slain! For Halloween, the special Halloween arena is returning for all your Fright Night delights, and we've added two new Halloween style skins. First, celebrating my favorite reason for the season, Trick or Treat Cupid comes armed to the sheet with candy corn arrows and other confections. And for those who like to turn the spook meter all the way up on All Hallows Eve, Thanatos gets the full goth fantasy with his new Grim Reaper skin. Now for some balance. First off, probably the biggest change this patch is to Al Kuang. Now, don't freak out, he's getting a damage buff to both his Dragon Call and Wildstorm, but that's only because we are taking away his ability for Polynomicon to proc with his Wildstorm. No more getting instant burst for all your health. He'll have to land an auto attack too, like the rest of us. Kakolin is getting a shift in how his rage is generated. We buff the rage he generates from hitting enemy gods, and we nerf the rage he generates from hitting minions. Izanami is a simple one. We've reduced the time it takes to cast her escape, fade away. We've also reduced the time it takes for her to fire her dark portal, and for that dark portal to explode. We've made her able to do things faster. It took her too long to do things, now it doesn't. And lastly, we have Raijin, the master of thunder. This patch, our bongo banging buddy, has received quite a bit of quality of life changes. We've increased the radius of his percussive storm, and he is now able to move while casting Thunder Crash. These changes will make his damage more confirmable, so to compensate, we've reduced the damage his percussive storm deals at all ranks. As always, these aren't the only changes that are being made, so be sure to check out the full patch notes on smikeam.com. Or check out the patch notes show VOD right here on YouTube. 